If you're new to NA10, here are the top three nodes that you should grasp right from the start. The first is the edit field or set field node. This feature lets you manipulate data by creating new data or overwriting the information you currently possess. For this particular instance, we want to rename this as date. So simply drag and drop that field right here. Let's change the name to date. And instead of receiving the timing, we only require the date. Consequently, we will utilize this edit field node to modify the data or output. That's why this is such a vital and critical node within Inaden, and I incorporate it almost constantly. The second node to bear in mind is the filter node. As the name implies, it will solely pass through those outputs that meet your specified condition. So just quickly type in filter, and let's say we wish to filter by this specific pin ID. Only the data containing this pin value will proceed through the filter. All remaining data will be discarded. And the last node you need to remember is the HTTP request node which enables your N8N workflow to communicate with external programs or services you want to link using the same language. In this demonstration, we aim to connect our Epify actors within our N8N workflow. Since Epify currently lacks a native integration, you can employ this HTTP request node to integrate your Epify actors inside N8N. It functions precisely the same way for outside applications, tools, and services. These are the top three nodes you must keep in mind if you are just getting started inside N8N. Follow and comment agent and I'll send you everything you need to get started.